Chew Gamer here and I'm back with another Collection Circle episode. Okay, first I'm going to start with the Fixture S1 and this is designed specifically for the Nintendo Switch and the Switch Pro Controller. Now, this, let me just show you how neatly packed it's presented there by the company Fixture Gaming and also comes with an instruction manual step-by-step -step guide there so if you're having trouble connecting it up Fixture S1 has got you covered and it also has the fixture in text engraved on the side Fixture S1 so you know who actually made this okay so this is a mount guys for the switch and your pro controller so it so it comes in grey and also neon now I had to get the neon and yeah just to spice it up with the colour with the blue and red on certain parts of the bracket on the apparatus there like you have the the blue on that side and then you have the red on this side so yeah, it just basically jazzes it up a little bit. Can bend in all sorts of angles, however you like to game. Hinges on this metal bracket seem very rough, tough and solid. And yeah, I can imagine when it's all connected, you can be confident that this will be very sturdy and is a very solid piece of equipment so you won't have to worry about anything falling out anywhere okay let me just show you how to connect everything up so once you've got your switch this side up the right side up just lift it back here and you should be able to just slide it up like so yeah okay so you can also you can hop you can slide it into position by by adjusting it on the side railings of the switch so that's that part done now let's connect so as you see there we've got the bracket for the pro controller put it in this way the back first and press down on it and once you hear the clip you're ready to go and there you go you can like adjust it that's the furthest it probably go you won't be able to get to the buttons however you like it, however you to prefer to game and yeah I've got to say it feels pretty secure guys you just need no need to worry or fret that this will be slipping out or coming undone in any way and it's made out of metal so it will give you that extra bit of assurance so yeah thanks to Fixture X1 you can now game anywhere with your Pro Switch controller. Now, this is one for the collection box. And that is Bayonetta 2 on the Wii U. Now, the reason why this has become scarce is because it's got the original Bayonetta as well as Bayonetta 2 and it's all and it's and it's two disc all in one case and I'll tell you what you would have done well to get this sealed just like I have this is a sealed version of the game you would have done well to get this sealed without breaking the bank because this has skyrocketed up in price yeah this has become a bit of a, a hidden gem so you can get this on the Wii U but it comes with two cases so why this is rare guys is because you have both the games inside of one case now we're going to flip the script to my favourite online bookstore which is the marvellous Bitmap Books which never fell to taint me to retro heaven so thank you Bitmaps for that you saved, you saved me this is the Game Boy uh, box art collection. It comes, as you see in front of me here, with a custom-made shipping box. 
and if you're wondering you can see it says one out of 1500 it doesn't mean this print is number one so everybody who brought everybody who brought this will have number one displayed on the box it simply just shows you that you're one out of the 1500 that they have distributed to so this really means nothing but as you see we have the iconic cartridge print on the front of the original Game Boy how it used to look because there was three versions they printed of this it was the standard silver and the gold but good luck to get your hands on that gold one that sold out almost instantly so I had to settle for the silver but yeah guys this is still unique you got the limited edition silver version before I go on guys I got to say just look at that Bitmaps's packaging is force filled esque ain't no human being creature or species breaking through and damaging your shit the way they package this their slogan they should make her their own slogan and it should simply read rest assured shipping is safe with us friends this book is ginormous, my largest yet. I haven't, I haven't got a book even near as big as this in my collection, and I've got many, believe me. Uh, we also, I don't know if this is a book, this is a bookmark or sticker of the legendary looking Game Boy there, the very first Game Boy they ever made. This is how it's designed with the green and black pixels in the front. Now I'm a big fan of the original Game Boy. I've actually got one myself. I've still got my old one. Because that was my very first handheld. So it has a lot of magic moment memories for me. Every time I pick one up. Now I've got to say this is a very sturdy metallic box and as you see on the front it's got some remarkable artwork with some juicy colour combinations there looks awesome and that's what the back looks like we have the old school original Game Boy um, pixels there so all the colour there was back in the day you had green and black that was all there was two two colour palettes okay okay before I take a browse through the book one of the bonuses you get with the limited edition silver version of this Game Boy Art collection is you get an A2 poster and as you see we have a robust tube here which is housed in and it was created by the one and only Will Overton and let me show you what the poster actually looks like I think it's the same artwork as what's on the front of the the book cover there but you just have it blown up into an A2 poster looking absolutely sublime just check this out guys look at that wonderful metallic box that they provide you with so let's take a look at the book oh my gosh oh my gosh the material is feels like a canvas texture the, the um the lettering seems like it's graved into the box there engraved superb at the top bitmaps books presents Game Boy the box art collection the presentation is just pure class and elegancy at its finest Let's check that out guys this this honestly feels like you've got something substantial and worth a hell of a lot ok 
Okay, so take a quick breeze through, see what it has to offer. I just want to make sure my hands ain't too dirty, man. Because I feel like it feels a bit sweaty. And yeah, I better put this down. I don't want to have any prints on the book, man. Stuff like this, guys, is like an antique. You don't want to ruin. But yeah, this has a little added feature at the top. It tells you the model of the Game Boy. So I think this is strictly for the original Game Boy. Because that was the model. DMG BB2. I'm not entirely sure. They might have some Game Boy Advance stacked in here, but I doubt it. Okay, I'm going to just show a few images of what it has to offer. Give you an idea if you're interested in getting something like this. Just shows you what the box art looks like. I'm going to show you what one of the box arts looks like actually. I've got one in person. So what one's that? So that's the Japanese Game Boy. So this is just all from for the original Game Boy. Everything to do with the original. You won't see nothing to do with Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color or anything of that sort. This just shows you about all the original Game Boy games. It tells you some information of certain secret um, information you didn't really know giving you all the behind the scenes back in the the late 80s early 90s so I think this came out in the late 80s but I didn't have one until the early 90s while all the rich kids in my school was having the Game Gear I had to settle for the Game Boy but it was the better it was the better handheld and much more better games so there you go guys there's an idea of what to expect probably tells you every single game ever made yeah this is a wonderful creation from the bitmaps foundation there yeah this is one I'm really gonna cherish and look after in my collection okay keeping to the subject of books I've got myself a sealed copy of the Cyberpunk 2077 complete guidebook and this is the collector's edition and once the seal is cracked because I've got myself a second edition as well so I have, I've got two, one's open, one's sealed but yeah this is what the front cover looks like now my advice to anyone out there is if you see this on the cheap pick it up because things like this can manifest into a hidden gem if you're really lucky so this one as you see is already opened so nothing special you get this little pamphlet there I can actually say this was useful on my cyberpunk adventures it does have it does really have some useful tips inside and gives you some depth on how to do some main jobs, side jobs, etc. So this is definitely one for those starting who's starting um, to play this game and need some some form of guidance and help to get them through certain missions. So there you have it guys. The Cyberpunk 2077 Guidebook, the Collector's Edition. Now we have one of my favourite games from the super, super massive games developers tag teaming up with Bandai Namco and that is the Dark Pictures Anthology and this is the Volume 1 Limited Edition version now what you get with this one, you get the Man of Medan game, like this one, the very first one that came out, and you get the Last Hope. 
which I haven't got and I have to invest in pretty soon. And you get a nice jazzy steel book with this elusive character on the back, which I can't remember his name, but he's the narrator and or no not the narrator. What are they calling him the they call him the the curator, that's it. And on the on the which one's the front? Okay, this is the front, the one it's got a skeleton looking head in a dark environment on both sides there. You can just about make out the characters emerging from the background. So very imaginative case. So here you have the two disc slots as a bit of a conveniency when you're swapping the discs. You get a still book with it and you also get a Dark Pictures Ophology World Cloth Map. And along with the cloth map you get two exclusive collectible pins. So you get treated well good with this limited edition for what it was. Nothing special, just something a little bit extra. Now this Nintendo Switch case is luscious. The combinations of the green, black and gold, which some will argue and say is beige, they're supposed to be gold. I'll just show you in person there. You got images of Link on the front in a kind of silhouette art style. And that's what the back looks like. I love the handle there, the handle grip, where you got these little vent kind of looking things. Yeah, I've got to say, man, I just love how this looks. It looks very attractive with all the colouring they've seemed to implement. The shield symbol in gold. Right there, got game card slot pockets and you can hold nine here and you can obviously, you can store more inside of this zip compartment. Now this is a surprise, wasn't expecting this. So you get yourself some screen protectors and you have a Zelda style cleaning cloth with the picture of the, the woman and she's in some kind of silhouette images as you see and we have the iconic Zelda logo printed on the back there of the cloth so yes this, this case is very stylish and actually having this will show your love for the Zelda franchise. Now, I got this simply because of the Coronet Mask. Now, what this is guys, is the Watchdog Legions Collector's Edition. Now, it's possible you can get this through various sources, but bearing one caveat, scalpers will be out in full force on this item this will be nowhere near the, the original retail price. Okay, collector's box aside, what you do get with this collector's edition, you get yourself an ultimate edition of the game and it comes with just a standard case there and inside, no need guys, the season pass is already dead and buried so don't try, it'd be useless. Um, going and trying to enter in the code. You get a season's pass with it as well and you also get an ultimate edition content which is an extra playable characters and whatnot. So you get yourself a whole leap of DLC and what you also get and me I get a wonderful still book to add to my still book library. So you get yourself a still book of the uh, Watchdog Legions there, which is always nice to have, 
especially when you have some exclusive gorgeous looking artwork inside of the still book like we have here just check that out guys it's absolutely superb so yeah so I've managed to um, bag two still books today to add to my collection sophisticated black looking envelope or envelope however you want to pronounce it I think this is the set of free stickers yeah get the mask again we have the pig head the slogans reclaim your future and all sorts And then tucked underneath is some more DLC, which is the the dead coronet mask in the game. So you have some more DLC tucked away. You do get yourself you do get yourself a double sided propaganda poster. Which is very easy to unwrap so why not give it a little unwrap yeah, this is what that one looks like and then pretty much of the same what you've been seeing throughout the collector's edition so that's it really double sided poster three stickers and still book and obviously the ultimate edition it's good though you do get a season's pass so you'd be well covered on anything they drop in the future now we have the star in the show all in this pla plastic protective case and this mask is a showpiece especially when the, the lights are activated after a little bit of assembly work it looked like this you do get some instructions but I didn't need to to glance at that one second so this is the dead the dead coronet mask now what this what this is guys it lights up one thing I gotta add getting this pole <laughs> out of the plastic be careful because it was a bit of a struggle for me and you can easily damage this plastic casing by trying to rip that out and it's not really it's a bit shaky the design of here it's not firm like one little wrong touch things can fall apart here so you gotta be very careful now on the back is where you would have the switch to turn the light on now I'm gonna turn the light on in the light and I'm gonna turn it on in the dark just to give you um, an idea of what it looks like on both settings as you see here we got the watchdog legion base and it has the symbol there and on the front of the base it has watchdog legions Let's just turn on the lights guys and see what's all the fuss about, shall we? And there you have it. Just the, the, the side sections of the crown lights up. Now with that, it's a bit disappointing. It'd be good if at least the skeleton teeth was to have a little bit of glitter and glam there it would be nice if the, the grill bit would glisten and glow wouldn't you say but nevertheless this is still a masterpiece and definitely one for the record books the decorated skeleton head looks ugly and beautiful at the same time so Ubisoft has designed a gem and yes you, you got to love this now I'm going to show you how it looks in the pitch black darkness
nothing to write home about because you can't really see the skeleton face. That's why I think lights should have been implemented on the actual skeleton front bit of the face there and also the teeth. So in the, in the night you can actually see the skeleton face in more detail because this just shows you really the crap where the crown light is so it's a bit of it's a bit bit of a disappointment there they could have upped the ante and just put a little bit a little bit more work into that so once the light has shined upon us once again you can see the mask in all of its glory and they call it the coronet mask now my last three items which i'm going to show you is from the retro gaming universe and I had to include this in my collection this here guys I got strictly for nostalgia purposes I can remember some epic battles playing with my friends endlessly to all hours of the morning night noon we used to just rinse this and I'm holding it the wrong way so this right here guys is memories from my childhood that's simply why I got this in my collection and I've obviously got a Super Famicom and this is what they call Super Formation Soccer in the UK they called it Super Soccer but like I said back in the day I had the import because I got my I got my console like a year early so yeah I was the most popular kid on my block at that time but yeah so we had some ha happy and sad memories of this game Super Formation Soccer and I'm happy to say guys I've got my iconic manuals with it and it's a mint this is in mint condition it came complete and this is very rare to get actually I must say so yeah some fond memories of Super Formation Soccer now I had to get I've got the Japanese version but I had to get a copy of Choplifter 3 complete in a box and this is for the, the UK version and it's for the Super Nintendo now this is not as valuable this is what it looks like got the manual got it all box haven't got the plastic though but yeah this is this is not as valuable as the Japanese version but it's still a hidden gem for this system and you'd be really good to get it complete for a decent price which I was pretty lucky I saw it so I just lapped it up so Choplifter 3 if you didn't know now you know it's a bit of a rarity for the Super Famicom slash Super Nintendo and then last but certainly not least if I can get it out we have ISS 64 International Superstar Soccer 64 and this is for the N64 now for me guys this is this reminds me of the olden day version of the modern day pro evolution soccer as we know it today and it's by the same the same developers and that is konami they made this as well on the n64 way back in 1998 as i remember and yeah this was really a game changer guys but for me this is the beginning of pro evolution soccer and yeah i've got some nothing nothing but sweet memories looking at this game and as you see the box art just looks amazing guys I, I really love how i love the um the cardboard boxing of how the games used to come which is a bit weird but i also love the master system boxes <laughs> which you know which everyone hates and yes, happy to say this comes complete in all of its Konami glory. We also have like how they used to have 
little questionnaires to fill out to gain extra to gain extra um, items or bonuses certain things in the game and this is how the the warranty booklet or something used to look not too sure about that I definitely know that this is the instruction manual book in all of its colourful glory there I really miss instruction manuals you can't beat them I've got one more item which I forgot just looking at the instruction manual has um, jogged my memory so I'll be right back now if you're an old school gamer and you're a fan of manuals like I am you would definitely want to get your mittens on something like this yeah so what this is guys this is manufactured from a company called Etsy I think that's how you pronounce it Etsy and I think they're just online company actually I think I have seen them um, they have stores open but what they do I just got a little thank you card there for purchasing my item okay they do all sorts of stuff but one thing they could be they do specialize in and that's stuff like this they do manuals for Nintendo Switch certain Nintendo Switch games which we all know Nintendo Switch games do not come with a manual now this is for Super Mario 3D All-Stars and it looks absolutely fantastic the way they actually done all the artwork the artwork just looks amazing man it's like instruction manuals it does give you um, information about the game inside yeah, it tells you about the controls everything so it's gone into full immense detail on the game there and they don't just do there's one I want to get I want to get one for Breath, Breath of the Wild and I want to get one for Odyssey so this guys will go hand in hand if you've got yourself a copy of uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, the physical, the physical version. And on the back it has the 35th anniversary um, printed logo on the back. And also on the front it's got it's got iconic icon pictures of uh, past systems controllers as you see the N64, Wii and GameCube and as we know it originally came out on GameCube so yeah it just shows you, gives you instructions certain elements inside of the game so I'm very happy to own something like this so it's Etsy, if you go on their website you can grab yourself a copy beware though um, I don't know they could be sold out and them eBay extortionists will be on the prowl so there you have it the Super, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars instruction manual okay guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up even better subscribe till next time See ya.